Here's number two. After you have a clear understanding of where you're going, you must become dedicated to the cause. Dedication is crucial if you're going to fulfill the will of God in your life. You must consecrate yourself. Sanctify yourself. Set yourself apart for the special purpose or purposes that God has already designed for your life. Know ye not that God has a divine will for your life? And his will includes good days <laughs> as well as bad days, good times, as well as bad times. The, the, the Bible says the steps of a good man, good person, that they've been ordered by God. And if God has ordered your steps, that means everything that's in your path, God has sanctioned. What he does is he allows the good days, Lord have mercy, to outweigh the bad days so you have no reason to complain. You have to become dedicated to the things of God, dedicated to the word of God, dedicated to the house of God, and dedicated to the people of God. I am the first to admit that we don't always understand his ways. And if I had my choice, I would not have chosen it to be the way it was. But I've come to learn if I stay with Jesus, he has a strange way to take what was meant to destroy me. To put his hands on what was meant to keep me down. And when I turn around, everything that the enemy meant for evil, God has. Caused it to become good. That's it. It's like the proverb said. If you lean not to your own understandings, but, 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 but in all your ways acknowledge him, he will direct your path. Let me give it to you another way like the Lord gave it to me last night. Don't allow trouble to make you trouble. Lord have mercy. High five your neighbor and say, neighbor, don't allow trouble to make you trouble. In other words, don't you allow what you're going through to change your attitude about God. Don't you allow my God, no bad discussion, no, no, no. Don't you allow no bad action, no, 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 to destroy your attitude toward God. We cannot help what comes in our way. We can only help how we act. Because it came our way. Lord have mercy. Wrap your arms around yourself. And say self. Keep your attitude up. Keep your attitude up. And don't allow trouble to make you trouble. But make up your mind. I'm not going to lose my focus. I'm not going to change my mind about God. I'm not going to throw in the towel and give it up. I made up my mind. I got to stay dedicated to the cause. If I'm the only one in the office dedicated to the cause. If I'm the only one in the neighborhood dedicated to the cause. I got to stay and stand firm on what thus saith the Lord and if it pushes me out of the click if they turn around and take me out of the club if I gotta eat lunch all by myself I made up my mind my mind my mind greater is he that's in me say y'all y'all sit down you gotta stay focused even when the enemy is raging, you cannot lose your dedication to God because the adversary has turned his hand toward you. But you've got to look up and understand that your redemption draweth nigh. I like the words of the old Negro hymn that says, Consecrate me now to your service, Lord, by the power of grace divine. Let my soul look up with a steadfast hope and my will be lost in thine. Draw me nearer, nearer blessed Lord to the cross where thou hast died. 
draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to thy precious, plead, plead inside. I don't have too many folk who want to go there, but if you going to remain dedicated to God, if you going to stand steadfast and unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, then you better rest assured, you're going to be tested and tried. Slap that neighbor another time and say, neighbor, oh, neighbor, know where you are headed and know where you're going. Know that all things will eventually turn for your good. I got anybody in the house who can clap your hands and holler hallelujah because you're going through. Y'all sit down, I got one more. Bless the name of God. You've got to know exactly where you're going. That you have a right destination. And when you're following Jesus, sometimes there's going to be a little trouble. Some days you'll have to struggle. But it's all good. Because he knows the way that I take. And when he's through trying me, I'm going to come my, 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 when you got your destination straight, then you've got to have your dedication straight. It's not that you're dedicated to the church, per se. It's not that you're dedicated to 610 Rhode Island Avenue, per se. But I'm dedicated to the cause of God. I mean, I'm dedicated to it. I still believe that the word of God is right. If I can't explain it, if you don't like me, it's still right. And I got folks sitting up here today who tried to explain on the job. Is that your church? Is that your pastor? Y'all know anything about this? You better make up your mind like we did. We said when they asked us, we don't have no comment. I ain't got nothing to say. Because the battle is not mine. Lord have mercy. I said the battle is not mine. The battle belongs to God. Say it. I dare you to get an attitude. Turn around and slap three people aside. And tell them no comment, no comment. to say, because whoever starts the fight controls the fight, and you didn't start this thing. This thing started 2,000 years ago. Lord, have mercy, and we serve a God who ain't never lost the fight. Yeah, Lord, I said we got a God on our side who can beat the best lawyer in the courtroom. We got a God on in a hospital room. We got a God on our side who can make the best deal that an officer can make. God ain't never lost. He ain't never lost. He ain't never lost. Nay, in all these things, we are more than somebody holler conqueror. Be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. And know that your labor is not in vain. Be not weary 